Hey guys, in today's episode, we are gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of seating with the Little Green Seating Machine, comparing that to seating by hand, which is the most common way that people seed currently in the microgreens industry. So we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're gonna seed the same crop, same seeding rate. Um, we're gonna use the Little Green Seating Machine to seed 16 trays and use the, uh, you know, just by hand, so using a cup and, and shake method to seed 16 trays by hand and see what the time difference is. I think you guys are gonna be really stoked for the results on this because uh, you know all the testing I've done so far has led me to see a pretty big difference between the two. So I'm excited for you guys to see a side-by-side -side comparison of the little green seating machine and seating by hand. So keep in mind, what we're using here is a standard six foot table. So most people that grow microgreens have one of these that they use regularly or have lying around. So we didn't wanna do like a long table setup or use a conveyor belt or anything that's gonna skew the results for what you can buy right now uh, for a low cost with the Little Green Seating Machine and see what the results are. So we're doing a side-by-side, -side, very fair comparison. Um, you know, nothing skewed, everything's exactly the same uh, between the two, except we're using a tool, the Little Green Seating Machine for one, and doing it the more traditional way with uh, by hand with a cup and, and pour method um, for the other and see what the difference is. So I'm really excited for you guys to see the results, so let's get right to it. So there you have it. You can see that the little green seating machine is significantly faster than seating by hand. Um, not just that, but it's more accurate. Uh, you're gonna have higher yields because you're gonna have a better distribution of seed. You don't need to worry about getting all the edges because it's perfectly sized for a standard uh, 10 by 20 germination tray that most people grow, whether it's Bootstrap Farmer, East Jordan trays, or any other sort of standardized trays. And if you could do things three times as fast, that's like having three people do the same thing as one person, um, which is incredible. And keep in mind, farms that are using the seeder have told us that they've gone up to four and a half times faster uh, than doing it by hand, especially if you account for vermiculite, if you top coat and get the pro model, um, then you're gonna save even more time than 3X because vermiculite by hand is extremely slow. So doing it with the low green seam machine, probably even faster, the different, the, or actually the difference is bigger, between vermiculite than seeding. So, um, you know, I think the, the results speak for themselves. Uh, if you guys wanna grab a little green seeding machine, uh, they are available. So now is a great time to get your hands on one and start saving a ton of money. If you haven't seen our calculators before, you can check out how much money you, you'll save in one year, in five years, how fast uh, the investment of buying a little green, little green seeding machine will pay off, which is really cool. So, you know, most farms, it's gonna be well under a year. And for those of you that have been following me for a while know that anything that takes less than a year to pay for itself um, in, in labor savings uh, is well worth the investment. So uh, definitely something to consider. Also for training staff is another big thing that um, in my consulting I do, a lot of farms talk about how difficult it can be to train staff to accurately seed or there's gonna be human error in how they seed and everyone's trained differently and the time it takes to train them with a tool like the little green seed machine, it's just so much faster to train someone. It takes like less than 30 seconds to change from one seed variety to another, which is really nice. Um, so it's really fast not only to use, but also to change from variety to variety. Um, and it's gonna be a lot easier to train staff. So there's a ton of benefits beyond just the labor savings, but today we're focused on the labor savings. So, you know, keep in mind that I'm also, uh, you know, an expert microgreen grower. I've been doing it for uh, 10 year, over 10 years. So uh, you know, I've also had my fair share of practice hand seeding. So if you're a beginner or haven't been hand seeding for, you know, three, four years, you can expect even greater than 3x um, 
you know, uh, speed just on seeding. And then if you account for vermiculite as well, you should be able to expect four, four and a half times somewhere in that range. Huge, huge labor savings. You can spend a whole lot of time on anything else you want, whether it's growing the business with sales or if you want to focus on um, expanding production and, um, and you know, doing R&D on getting new products. Or if you just want to spend time with family and friends, which is something that is near and dear in my heart, you have more time for that. And as you can see, I pretty much picked out my seed order for uh, next year with high mowing um, while having my smoothie in the time difference between uh, seeding with the low green seed machine and how much longer it took with hand seeding. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next one.